Hey guys, Tony the Soy Sass Assassin. Welcome to another episode of Cigar Review. And today, we are doing a long cigar because I got some time. It's weekend, right? Uh, well, at least for me, when I'm recording, it's a weekend. For you, might not be, okay? So today, we're doing the H. Upman 180th Anniversary. And yeah, there's some special things here. Let's take a look at the cigar and then we'll address that. H. Upman 180th Anniversary Comes in two different sizes But the one I got is 7x50 Churchill I don't know why I bought this size But MSRP is $22.50 Limited to 5,000 boxes of 10 cigars The other size is um, Toro 6x50 But it comes with a humidor size That has a price tag of $1,500. And this particular one is a Nicaraguan Piro. Uses a Nicaraguan Medio Tiepo wrapper. That is a part of the leaf that's on top of Lejero priming. And supposedly strongest part of the plant. Even though usually they just call that Lejero anyway. There is a little bit of glue on this thing. I don't know why. But it should not change the performance of the cigar. So since it's going to take a while to smoke this, let's get started. Okay, so you see that this is kind of special. It's the cap. Foot band actually covers the cap. So it's kind of cool. Even though it doesn't say much since 1844 H. Amman. Well, even though they say that, I don't think the H. Amman is the same thing as the H. Amman before. So it's like, do you really have 150 years or 180 years? Um, yeah. Okay, and let's see how can I do it without destroying this thing, I guess. Here we go. That's what we got. The tobacco got in my hand. What the hell? Mm, okay. When I was picking on my ashtray earlier, I got tobacco in my hand. All right, so let's get started. It's a really dark, dusty pile of espresso bean smell. Roasted. It smells pretty good. Oh yeah, on the foot it's must uh, it's um dinky. It's like yeah, it's like mushroomy dinky. All right, it's like porta bella mushroom. Porta bella, porta bella, porta bella mushroom. Musty, thank you. We're getting through this real quick. I mean, this is a Churchill, it's gonna take a while to smoke. I don't know, I had the urge to smoke H. Armand. I think it's because of the conversation yesterday. I talked about H. Armand, uh, and then I really want to smoke one today. So, pick one up. All right. 
Pepper. Oh, a lot of pepper. Oh, a lot of pepper. A lot, a lot of pepper. That is so much pepper. I, I have trouble to tell what that flavor is. It tastes like there's a little bit of leatheriness. There's a little bit of... Because the pepper is so strong. Uh, I think a little bit earthiness. I'm I having trouble telling what flavor that is. It like just whiff of pepper after pepper. It just burns. It's definitely a little bit of coffee too. Not as dark as espresso. It has a little bit of sour in the end to it. It's really hard to tell. All right. Anyways, let me smoke one third. I'll be right back. Okay. So I smoke a little bit more than one third. Because I don't know if I can finish this cigar and I don't even know if I can continue to do the cigar because this cigar is strong. So it has a lot of pepper in the beginning and then it turns into a little bit like coffee and cocoa kind of flavor. But it's strong. You can feel it. You can feel how strong this, this tobacco is. So I was like, oh, I'll smoke it through, uh, you know, a little bit more, see if I can handle it. I think I could. It's just got to take a while. So... Yeah, that's what I got from the first third is most likely getting a little bit sweeter, a little bit of coffee, a little bit of cocoa. There is a little bit of like a blend, not really flavorful earth. And that's where it's at right now. But the strength, you can definitely feel the strength. It takes a little bit to get used to it. So this is where I am right now. But... We only have probably a little bit more until the two third. We'll see if it changes. All right. Uh, so expect the, the second third um, review is just going to be whether or not it changes because I don't think it's going to change much. If it does, I'll let you know. I'll be right back. All right. Second third, like we talked about, there's not much change. Um, I think it actually got lighter in terms of flavor. The strength the same. It did not, it did not get lighter in strength, but the flavor kind of watered down a little bit, including the pepper. The pepper kind of died. So here's the band, 188th anniversary band. It looks kind of cool. It's like their band, like they tried to make this double band thing. It works well. It almost feels like a uh, one of those private reserve alcohol. It does say private batch on this. It says. All the rights to the legal holder, private batch. And the other white line I can't read. This is my signature. Okay, this is my signature. And then it says signature right here. This is my signature. Okay, cool. Yeah, so that's the band. Last third, I'm going to try my best to finish it. And then we'll grade this. Oof. Be right back. All right, finally finished. Wow. This cigar. Takes a long time to smoke. This cigar has a lot of strength. The cigar does not have a lot of flavor though. Uh, the last third, the, just all strength. If you don't retro hill, you're not gonna get much. There's a little bit more woodsy you know. Chocolate dies down, coffee dies down, everything dies, dies down. Um, I don't think the strength justified the flavor. It's one of those things uh, where I don't think they deliver. But if you like strength, you like a cigar with some strength. Then you like it, you know, because you are there for the strength, not for the flavor. Uh, I'm here more for the flavor than the strength, and the strength just overtakes everything. It's not very enjoyable. Even though I'm having a great conversation right now. Uh, it's just... It feels like I'm just pushing through, trying to get this cigar over with. And it doesn't give you that enjoyment. It's a long cigar, it's a Churchill. So uh, I don't recommend it. Uh, but 
in terms of a price, I would give this cigar um, probably with the length that you're getting between eight and a half to nine dollars. Eight and a half to nine dollars, where I can, I I don't really like it, but you gotta calculate that some people is gonna like that, and um, you know for the strain, for the type of tobacco they're using, for the length, eight and a half to nine dollars. Yeah. Now I'm gonna go smoke some better cigars, and hopefully that doesn't get me sick. <sighs> I feel tired smoking this cigar because how much strength that is. So, yeah. Can't always win every time. So that will be it for this cigar review. If you like it, make sure to like, subscribe, comment, share. If you uh, don't like it, make sure to have a thumbs down. And make sure to check out our podcast. Make sure to check out our membership and our um, swag. All right. I'll see you guys next one. Bye, guys.